Oh, good, 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 yeah. really good. So, what uh, what school are you going to? At Southern Illinois University. Say it again. Southern Illinois University. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah. So good, good deal. Let me make sure I got the proper share on here. Okay, good. Uh, let me see this. Okay, I just had to make a slight change so I could share this document so everybody could get a hold of it. So, all right, well, good, good, good. Yeah, I actually have a, um, what is it, UNI, University of Northern Illinois. I have an uncle that's over there. So, mm -hmm. good. 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 Hello, Elmer. Hello, bro. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good, good. Are you playing a few games? We see your, we see your screen share. It looks like you're playing a few games there. Yeah, I'm playing Maple Story. <laughs> All right, good. It looks like you're winning. Well, not really. It's a um, RPG game, so. Mm. Everybody wins. Yeah, somehow <laughs> everybody wins because. We are always playing as a team, you know, with uh -huh. four bodies, and then we go for exploring, blasting, and whatever. Yep, yep. Okay, good, good. How was Christmas? It was peaceful. We, peaceful? Yeah, we spent some time with our family. We exchanged gifts. And we, we laughed uh, pretty much. Okay, good. Good. Sounds like Christmas to me. Good deal. Good deal. Hello, Paul. Hi. Hey, how are you, Paul? I'm doing good. You? Good. Good, good, good. There's a little bit of little bit of feedback coming from you though, Paul. Maybe uh maybe just check your settings in your microphone. Okay. Okay, I'll try. Yeah, you might you might just need to do this. Let me show you here. Okay, let me show you. It might just be here. You might have the wrong one selected. You might have like your default or something. Yeah, that's all it's me for. With my uh, headphones, so I've got only mic on my laptop. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, there's still. Uh, there's. I know it might be hard for you to hear, but I'm sure Mercha and them can hear. There's a lot of feedback. Let me let me mute you. You can see Mercha is shaking his head up and down. So, hey, Ika. Long time no see. Well, don't be shy, Ika. Ika? Okay. Hello, Ika. Are you there? Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes that scares people. They think I'm about ready to eat them. Ika, are you there? <laughs> anyway, anyway, sorry, my nose is itching. I guess somebody's talking about me. Ika, uh, are we hearing you? Oh, okay. So, hey guys, we're still um, we're still doing some review stuff, okay? So I apologize okay. if some of the uh, if some. Hey, there's me. <laughs> That's cool. All right, now it's back to you. Uh, so, me, yeah, yeah. I'd like to ask you something. S mm -hmm. uh, someone is talking about Euro. I don't know what does it mean. Oh, hero like this? Hero? You no, know, he, not hero. With double R. With double R's? Yeah. Mm, if I don't you, know. Well, never mind. The letters are, are pretty small for you. But someone said hero with a big exclamation. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. It's yeah. almost almost sounds like a Greek god or something like that. You know. Um, um, let me explain the, the situation. Uh, yeah. Someone made well, a, a joke, and he got punished for that. 
and suddenly a girl came with this hero. What okay. Did you, do? you were wrong. You misjudged him. There you go. Okay. So there you go. It's a it's a common greeting sweeping the world wide web. Hopefully it won't get added to the uh, dictionary pretty soon. Similar to hello, but with an Asian accent. So, yeah, I don't. It, it it sounds a little racist in some ways because it's uh they put an asian accent on it so yeah I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't i didn't read that till now fendi i wasn't trying to be offensive you know but um yeah what it is you can see in the chat i just pulled it up as far as an urban legend and that's what it is so more of the um uh, let me ask my my North American friend. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, though, that's 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 what uh that's what I got here from Urban Dictionary. Okay. Yeah, and originated um Kim Jong Il in uh, Team America. Okay, so that's where it originated from. So yeah, it's 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 actually rather racist. Just to let you know, okay. So. Okay. Yeah. So if we look at it here too, I'll show you. Let's see if we can pull it up in YouTube. So there's a um, a movie called Team America. Okay. And there, there you go. So Kim Kim Jong uh, too said hero, you know, and Team America. Team America is a uh, movie that they made using I uh, was it minarets? Yeah. So here's here's where it came from. Oy, oy, oy. Oy, oy, oy. Anyway, let's just close this. But yeah, that, that's where it's from. So it's not a definitely not a a real word per se. Okay. All right. So let's see. So hey, Ika. Um. Okay. No problem, Ika. Can you answer now? Can you say hello? Uh. Yes. Hello. Oh, there you are. Hey. How's uh hello. how's things in hello? How are things in Indonesia? Uh not much. Still the same. Still the same? Okay, good. Yeah. Good, good. Yep. Lots of rain. Is there a lot of rain there? Getting a lot of rain? Uh, not really, but uh it is still uh often cloudy but not rain. Okay, so it's it's cloudy out, but not too much rain. Okay, okay, good, yeah. good, good. How about good. there? Uh, it was it was raining uh, a couple of days ago, pretty bad. You know, mm. there was a lot of heavy rain, a lot of wind, trees knocked down, so it was rather crazy. So snowy? Okay. No. No, 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 no. I'm I'm in between San Francisco and the Philippines. So right now oh, I'm in the okay. Philippines, so so oh, yeah, okay. just a lot of rain, a lot of rain. Yeah. Okay, so, so good. So those of you that are outside the hangout that have microphones, please feel free to uh, to join us. Okay, all right. So there's the link for you. Um, all right. Hey, uh, Paul, did you get things fixed? Nope. Okay. Maybe, maybe not. All right, so let's start with class then. Uh, we're still working through a review. Don't worry, though. We have plenty of new classes coming up, as you can see, okay? So don't worry. We've got plenty of stuff coming up here, as you can see. These are private teacher um, folders here. So we're do still doing a bit of a review on some of the words that we've learned over the last three lessons, okay? So we'll go through... We'll talk about the words. If you don't know the words, I'll help you with them. Um, and also, just as well, we'll use these in a sentence and everything else. If you're not speaking, make sure that you mute your microphone, okay? So that we don't get any uh, 
any feedback here. Let me see here. Where's that coming from? Okay. Yeah, so sorry, I, I muted muted a few people. You hear how clear it is now? So uh Amar, there's a little bit of noise coming from you. Okay, let me give you a link here that you can check out. Okay, so maybe find out if there's some settings that you need to change because there's a lot of white noise coming from you. Okay, so check that out. Okay, so good. So Paul, are you uh are you all set there, Paul? Yeah, I'm here, but I can't find the problem. Huh, let's see. Any feedback? Um, hmm. Yeah, well, I think it's kind of, uh, yeah, it's still there a little bit. I'll tell you what, Paul, just keep keep flipping in and out, okay? When you're talking, unmute yourself, and then when I or somebody else is talking, just mute yourself, okay? All right, no problem. Okay. We'll, uh, we'll work through class today. You're a pretty cool guy, so no problem. So, Paul, the word absorbed, absorbed. Yep. Mm -hmm. Can you provide the definition? Oh, uh, it's uh, to uh, give me some mm -hmm. I'll help you a little bit. Think of a sponge, okay? Think of water and think of a sponge. All right, that's one application of it. And then we can discuss other applications as well. Yeah, it's to take some uh, some substance from the surface. Uh, to into somebody or something. Okay, so so one definition of it is um, to absorb things, especially if you're absorbing water. Is you'll um, you'll uh, hey hi there, uh, Dwala. Hey, hey Dwala, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. You can hear my voice. I can hear your voice and I can see you. It's amazing, this this thing called the internet. But I think you I think you might be muted now. For some reason, you're muted. Yep. Okay. 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 I'm okay. late today. Okay. So but good. What's your topic? So my what's my topic? That's a great question. What we're doing is we're working on vocabulary words. We're doing a review over the last uh, few weeks. Okay. And right now we're working on the word absorbed. And um, and uh, Merch is using a full example of absorbed. So also, it's a good, a good use of it, Merch, by the way. So Paul, another thing with absorbed that you can have is you can use absorbed like I absorbed the knowledge, okay, which means like to soak up the knowledge. Right now, Merch, he's absorbed uh, with Fendi's beauty, okay? He's soaking up her beauty by looking at her. Hey, uh, Merch, Mercha, let me teach you something, okay? Mercha, yes. you ready? Yes. Say say this first thing. Hung Piao Liang. Hung Piao Long. No, Hung Piao Liang. <laughs> okay. So that means that means uh that means very pretty in Chinese, okay? All right. Okay. Now now that here, learn this one, okay? Wo I ni. Wo I ni. <laughs> no, don't don't say that. It's nothing bad. It just means I love you. But you don't, you don't want to say that, okay? All right. So so, but let's get let's get back to absorbed here. Sorry, folks. Don't mean to don't mean to play around. Um, but yeah, let's just let's just pull up our dictionary. So we don't know words. It's a good idea to always go to our dictionary, okay? So absorbed. There's multiple definitions with with absorbed. And um, the one that we're most focused on is going to be, ay, 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 come on in here, okay? So we see to suck up a drink or liquid. Um, this this is the one that we're really concentrated on uh, to involve the full of tension of, all right? To engross or to engage, all right? So that's the one that we're most focused on. So Paul, can you do or can you do me a favor? Can you now use absorbed? In a sentence, yeah, I, I was okay. so, uh, in the process of uh, getting knowledge. Okay. Uh, so, I'm sorry. Say it again, Paul. 
I was absorbed in uh, the process of uh, taking knowledge. Okay, I, it, it's come. It's coming up a little bit hard to hear. Go, go ahead and mute yourself, Paul. Okay, but yeah, I, I, I can understand what you're saying. Like you were absorbed with an event that you're participating in, but it is a little difficult to hear. Okay, but no, no problem, no problem. Okay, um, and good to see you in class, Paul. Even if there is a little bit of problem with your microphone. Okay, Mercha, ache, ache. Okay, and hey, uh, is it Dwaya? Is that right, Dwaya? Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you mute yourself when you're not speaking, just so that it's easier for everybody to hear. It's okay, but just when you're not talking, click that mute that's up on the top right. Okay. No problem, though. Mm -hmm. So on I the top right. Yep. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mercha. I haven't use this word uh, I was looking okay. on the dictionary.com okay so what if you what if you were working out yesterday really hard okay if you're lifting weights doing a lot of physical straining okay the next morning how would your muscles feel ache mm -hmm. exactly exactly so it's a uh, it's a physical pain typically okay okay all right but also too ache at times uh, can be a mental pain physical or mental pain or anguish it's another word you can use so you can say I have a heartache all right she broke up with me and now I have a heartache okay so go ahead Mercha use uh, ache in a way or in a manner. Her heart ached for the starving animals. Okay. So the ached like that, all right? So you know how there's um you actually don't have the e in there, just ached. Okay? It's almost yeah, it's <laughs> almost sounds like this. So another thing that you folks could see here is um we have the phonetic spelling of words, all right? So you have the normal spelling, and then you have what's called the phonetic spelling. And the phonetic spelling with ached leaves E as silent, and it has that T to it. And let's see, sometimes it doesn't quite come up the way I want it to, but let's put an ached. Yeah. Yeah, so here. Wow ache like that and then let me see so yeah so Dwaya hi Dwaya yeah, yeah. sorry so, my friends, uh, no, yeah I, I, I understand that but but please understand though that this is a virtual classroom it might be a virtual mm -hmm. classroom but just like a physical classroom you typically don't bring your friends and let them come in and interrupt the class you don't have a lot of noise in the background so we just ask that when you're in the hangout that you keep the noise down to a minimum and just you know for an hour's period of time just let everybody know hey I'm gonna be doing something online that requires uh, us to stay quiet okay so yeah, so Mercha, back to you. So yeah, it has it like that, and I was trying to look for ached on here, um, as far There's, as with the. Uh, there are some yeah. other examples or explanations to okay. feel great sympathy, pity, or yep. the likes to feel yep. eager. Um, yeah, so that's your physical or mental pain or anguish. Okay, anguish is another good. Uh, good word okay all right so good good and I was just saying that ached so with that the ED have to be careful with the ED because that's uh, not going to have the E in it all right and there's a whole section on uh, how to handle ED you know like fix okay and then fixed okay that sounds like this right you don't ever hear that so that's very common by the way folks okay so Fendi, it's common common to get it wrong, I guess I should say. The next yes. word, amusement. Amusement. 
like amusement park. So can I say amusement also entertainment? Yeah, entertainment. So, um, so in our class, there's a lot of amusement that is delivered by Mercha at times, right? Okay, yeah. so he's always liking to he's always liking to, likes to joke around. Yeah. And you always find a lot of amusement in class. Okay, yeah. All right. Okay, I don't like when they use uh, <laughs> anything that amuses, but yeah, diversion, so forth, um, enjoyment. You know, or other words to use in there. Can you give another um, uh, another sentence using amusement? Um, can I use to use uh, amusement park? Like, um, I want to uh, go to amusement parks in the holiday. Uh -huh. I want to go to an amusement park during the holiday. Yep. And how about amusement as far as um, if somebody is always making you laugh? What can you say yes. about that? Can you use that? It's a little more difficult. Can you try that? Mm, like, mm, how to say Mirke? Uh, Mirke always saying something funny, so he gives uh, more amusement in this class. Yeah, he gives a he gives a lot of amusement in this class. Yep. Mm -hmm. So good, 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 very good, Fendi. Very good. Thank you. Elmer, let's see if we can. You're welcome. Let's see if we can pull you away from your uh, role playing <laughs> game. So conf <laughs> confront. <laughs> okay. Do you need uh, the definition first? Ah, uh, please, sir. Okay. So I confront. I would have two different meanings to me. The first one is when you are facing a big trouble, you really have to confront it because you know you cannot just turn back to a problem and let it go. You have to face it. All right. Mm -hmm. Yep. And there's another another meaning of confront. It's like some kind of fight. Mm -hmm. like, yep, like, um, there's a big confront between uh, Manchester United and Chelsea on the, mm -hmm. the stadium. It's somewhat of, you know, a massive fight. Yep. Yep, exactly, exactly. And um, so that's to like face somebody uh, that, that's trying to hurt you. So you might confront a um, somebody who's trying to kill you. You might confront them, right? Uh, and then there's... Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, what's the meaning of this word? It just came up on, on my mind. Mm -hmm. Is it harsh, harsh? How to pronounce this? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I messed up here. Confrontation. Okay, so what's the? Uh, oy, oy, oy. Terrible at this. Um, let me look here. Harsh. Oh yeah. So harsh. Yeah. Um, I'm surprised Ike can't hear me. So harsh. Uh, I'll use it in a sentence first. Okay. okay. The punishment was very harsh that they put um. on the student he didn't deserve to be expelled for two days so that's inflicting something hmm. was way too uh, yeah so I don't know I don't know why I'm having <laughs> pardon me for having such a hard time with it <laughs> um, but yeah so so harsh that, that's the best way to do is to give example so it's something that uh, usually people say they use the word harsh when okay. you're comparing something like in my sentence that person only should have been expelled for one week the penalty was too harsh okay, okay. Uh, let me ask you something uh, can I say in any kind of possibility that you may confront harshful mm -hmm. people you might confront harsh people in your life and somebody who's harsh is just somebody who's not nice Usually yeah. somebody who's harsh is very cynical, okay? Mm -hmm. Somebody who's harsh, they, you know, they're not the type of person that's going to smile, okay? Mm -hmm. All right? They're going to be the type of person that uh, just doesn't have a good outlook on life, okay? Okay. 
Okay, and I don't I don't know why it was so hard for me to put in confrontation there. Okay, but also too, it's typical for confront. Then later on, people say, "Oh, they got into a confrontation." All right, that means two people got into a fight. Okay, mm. is okay. that correct and to yeah. say also a uh, uh, confrontation of ideas? Ah, uh, yes, yes. So that's when people have opposing ideas. Right, and they have a confrontation over ideas. Okay, so can that be called an um, idea confront? A an idea confrontation? Uh, no, they usually just say people have conflicting ideas. Conflicting All right. Ideas. Mm -hmm. That's typically what you'll what you'll hear in that situation. Okay. Okay, sir. Yep, and I hope you don't have to. You're welcome. I hope you don't have to confront too many harsh people in your life. Okay, <laughs> Ika. Hello, Ika. Can you hear us, Ika? Mm -hmm. And Fenny, just to help you out a little bit more. Uh, oh yeah, he. Uh, I would say he gives. He gives a lot of amusement in this class. Okay. Oh yes, I lost yeah. the singular right? Yeah, yeah, no problem, mm -hmm. though. No problem. Thank okay. you. Thank you. You're welcome. That's why I'm here. Hello, Eddie. Hi, Eddie. Hello. Okay, and Ika, let me see, hello? Ika, we are, hello, Eddie? Yes. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing very well, thank you. So, Eddie, we're going through vocabulary right now. Can you talk to me about the word distracted? Do you know the definition of distracted? And if you can use it in a sentence, too, that would be great, yes. Distracted is out of focus. Mm -hmm. Yep. So distracted, you can say, is to lose focus due to things around you. Okay, so usually when you become distracted, it's because of something around you. All right? You don't really say that you lose focus and become distracted uh, because you're daydreaming. Usually there's something around you that causes you to become distracted. And you gave the proper definition. I was just elaborating a little bit more. Eddie, can you do me a favor? Can you uh, use distracted in a sentence? Um, I easily get distracted because of the noise outside. Mm -hmm. Yep, very good, perfect. Okay, good. Have you been in my class before, Eddie? No. Okay, well, welcome, Eddie. Where, where are you from? Are you from Latin America? Uh, Philippines. Oh, you're from... Uh, yeah. Kumusta ka? Uh, okay, no man. Um, uh, gamay. <laughs> anyway, good I to have you in class, Eddie. Thank you. Huh? Thank you. Kasaboko? Uh, while I stop again. Okay, good. Amar, sorry, I was just speaking a little bit of Messiah. So, Amar. Yeah. Um, can you uh, can you use drift, drift in a sentence? And do you know the definition of drift? Yeah. And there's there's is, multiple definitions. And there is a flow to drift anything in this way. Uh, drift. Say that again, Amar. I mean, if there is any flow of water, it will drift the things in its way. Okay. I mean, so drift is kind of, yeah. yeah, it's kind of like the float or the slide is what you would say with drift. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So that's when you uh, kind of slide to the side and so forth to kind of, kind of move a little bit, right? Okay. Yes. There's, there's a few things in here. Okay. Wow, there's a whole bunch of them in here. Yep. So movement of force and so forth. So also, too, um, in Illinois, are there snow drifts? 
we have the snow, but no snow there because it's not that high enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So can you use drift in a sentence? Okay. Mm -hmm. The tsunami drift uh, all houses in Japan. Say that again. That's that tsunami drift the houses uh, in Japan. So they drift the houses. Yeah. Uh, so do you mean? So can you? Let, let's just work through this together. So drift in this definition is like to slide. Right or to move along, uh -huh. and also to float along. So that's how we're using this. Did you also know that you can say, uh, "I drifted off to sleep"? Have you ever heard that? No. Okay, so some people say that. And that's when you just kind of just you're sitting there and you kind of just slowly you drift off into sleep. Okay. All okay. right. Good. 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 Um, Zaid. Yep. So, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you. And you? Doing good, doing good. So, um, you, you've been in my class before, right, Zaid? No, that's the first time. Okay, well, hey, welcome to class. Where are you from, Zaid? I'm from Iraq. Okay, good. Are you, are you still in Iraq, or are you living in the U.S.? No, I'm living now in uh, Malaysia. Oh, hey, great, good. Are you in uh, Penang or are you in KL? Where are you at over there? No, I'm in Malacca. Oh, Malacca, okay, good, good, good. I knew somebody from Malacca. I ne actually never went there. I've been to Ipo and places like that. But anyway, enough of Malaysia. Well, good, good, good. So um, can you help me with this word here, explore? So we're looking at this document here, explore. And for those of you that need to gain access to the document, uh, I'll give you the link again, okay? So explore. Can it's you use means, that? It means like a, the discovery or discover something. Mm -hmm. Yep. So to search for something or in a place, right? So right. go ahead and use use that in a sentence for me. I explore the whole, the whole island. I explore, say it again. I explore the whole island. Mm -hmm. So did you already explore the island or are you going to explore it or are you currently exploring it? No, I am exploring it. Okay, all right. So, okay, good, good, good. So I just want to make sure you have your tenses correct, right? So I explored the island last year. I am going to explore the island in the fall. Currently, I am exploring the island. Okay, so good. Okay, good, good. thank you. All right, you're welcome. And I'm the teacher, so I'm here to try to help you out correct along the way, okay? So, all right, good, good, good. All right, I give you feedback is what I do. Okay, and that's the next one, Paul. Feedback. Okay, it's for me, feedback. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's, uh, it's uh, kind of advice or criticism about something uh, how to, you know, in a way to uh, Help, for example, like I want, uh, I want some feedback to solve my problem, and I, uh, I write to the support uh, support team to help me with this problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, so it's, so it's something that you're uh, typically involved in, right? like a situation or a problem. Okay, good, good, good. How about feedback when it comes to uh, to the feedback that we get when we're talking to you? Oh, you mean uh, unpleasant noise? 
Yeah, yeah, I'm just kidding around. I had to use that one though, right? So, um, so yeah, sometimes there can also be feedback. Like when I'm talking to you and your microphone's not muted, there's a little bit of feedback. And don't, don't, don't take offense, Paul. I was just saying that's another example of feedback. Feedback can also be noise, right? Okay. Okay. And then, and then also too, you'll hear this in business feedback loop. Okay, so sometimes when there's a problem in a company, what they'll want is they'll say, hey, let's get a feedback loop on this situation. And what they're talking about is where people continue to discuss the issue until they reach a resolution. Okay, can you, uh, can you give an example of feedback in a sentence, Paul? With a feedback loop or whatever feedback? Whatever, whatever one you desire. Okay, um, I have some problems, so I have to take some feedback from uh, somebody who can help me. Okay, and I would say instead of take, I would say get. Okay, oh, I have a problem, okay. and I need. To, yeah, no, no problem. Okay, I have a problem, and I need to get feedback from somebody who understands the situation. I need to get feedback from support. Okay. But good, Paul. Good. Okay. Mercha. Fictional. Fictional. Something which is not real or. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going to speak today about a fictional situation to see mm -hmm. how the other guys are going to react about some things if they are going to happen so I'm letting you know that this is a fictional situation not a real one mm -hmm. yep okay alright do you like fiction books do you like fictional books or do you like ones that um, are non-fiction like fiction or non-fiction non-fictional Nonfiction, okay. All right, good, good, good. And there's a um, there's an expression, stranger than fiction. Okay, in some people's lives, they might say, "My life is stranger than fiction," and what they mean by that is things are so crazy and so wild that it's almost like you made it up, but it's even stranger than you could make up. Okay, so that's a, a really funny term I like. All right, so good. Fendi. Yeah. Fiercely. Fiercely. And this is this is a word that's that's common. Um fierce. I hear that a lot yeah, in fierce. Uh, China and yes. Taiwan. Mm -hmm. Fierce. Yeah. Hensiong. How about Yeah. Yeah, but I do I, I you, you hear that a lot in um in Taiwan and China. People like to yeah. use the word fierce. Yeah. Describe uh, something. We use a lot, we use a lot. Fierce. Yeah. Yep. It's that like, was a few. Um, Go ahead. When someone's talking very angry, sorry, ang mm -hmm. ang angry, it look like mm -hmm. very fiercely. <laughs> Talk a lot or very loud. Okay. Yep. Yep. So with like a lot of force against something, a lot yeah. of force or anger even. <clears throat> okay. Can you use that uh, in a sentence, please? You can. You can use fierce. Fiercely is fiercely is rarely used. Just go ahead and use fierce. Fierce. Mm -hmm. mm, my daddy is kind of fierce person, so I am very scared of him. <laughs> okay. Okay. Most people's dads <laughs> are like that. So, um, so Paul. True. <laughs> So Paul furiously. So with furiously, it's different than fiercely. Furiously is when somebody's doing something very fast. Okay, they're doing something in a fast motion. You know, he was running furiously to get away from the uh, the criminal. Okay, usually furiously, um, it's in a very fast motion. A lot of times, when people are scared, uh, you know, they're doing things furiously. Okay, so that's the difference there. You're welcome, Paul. Okay, uh, my RPG uh, friend, Elmer, someone. 
You know what? D don't get rid of someone. That's that's too gosh darn easy. Fulfillment. Or I'm sorry, fulfillment. I'm the one who can't even teach today. Fulfillment. There you go. <laughs> sorry, Elmer. <laughs> Uh, okay, fulfillment. Mm, let me ask you something. I know that you can fulfill a lot of recipes, bottles, and whatever. Is the fulfillment related to it, or is it something totally different? Uh, so you'll fill, right? You'll fill bottles. You'll fill an order, and a fulfillment is uh, when you do finish an order. Okay, so like if you have a, um, if you have, there's there's departments that work on that where they'll make sure that an order, like like let's say um, I'm ordering a thousand parts from a manufacturer. Okay? okay, so once they meet that, they met their fulfillment with that. Okay, so that can be used like that. Mm. Can you give me another example? Um. Uh, yeah, you can also say, um, let's see, have you, have, you re -met, have you met the required parts for that fulfillment? Okay. Okay. Yep, so like this, and here actually, it has it right in here, okay? The process or business of handling and executing customers' orders is packing, shipping, or processing checks. Okay, mm. so that's their fulfillment. Yes, I got it. Um, let me ask you something. I don't know mm -hmm. how. Do you ask the the gas station guy to fill your tank? Can you give him a a sentence, for example? Yeah, so like Merch is asking, I'm going to to make fulfillment fuel in my car. So yeah, I wouldn't use it like that. Uh, fulfillment, uh, a lot of times fulfillment also too. It's it's more like in business, like it's showing in there. Also fulfillment, you know, as far as if something satisfies you, it fulfills you, right? Okay, different things like that. But fulfillment, I wouldn't use it um, when it comes to like filling your car. Or you know, going and getting groceries, or things like that. I want to use fulfillment for that. Oh. And yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say uh, I finally fulfillment my task today, Fendi. I would just use I. I finished my my task today. Okay. Elmer. I'm sorry, I was uh, cleaning my glasses. Okay. And okay, no problem. I took off the, the headphones. Mm -hmm. And and Paul, um, so fulfillment used like this uh, isn't so much as far as um, a promise. You would just say the person fulfilled their promise. They married me after all, right? Or they fulfilled their promise. Um, you know, they came over for Christmas. But yeah, fulfillment is, uh, again, it's used in business like you see on there. Okay. So there's a whole department that deals with that. Or in most cases there is, okay. So do you want to use that in a sentence, Elmer? The fulfillment. Right. Uh, yeah, yep. Okay, so um, today our customer has ordered a uh, high demand of, of products, so we have uh, a lot of fulfillment tasks to do in order mm -hmm. to, to deliver that, that order. Yep, yep, good. Is that... Uh, good. A good example? That's pretty good, yeah, because what you're doing is you're saying that there's tasks that are part of this process for the fulfillment of the order, right? Right. Yep, 
So good, no no problem. And oh yeah, um, to fulfill is a verb, and yeah, fulfillment is only used as a noun. All right. And uh, Ika, do you have? Are you there, Ika? Can you use gripped? Yes, but I don't know what this mm -hmm. grip is. Okay, we'll give it a shot. Go ahead, Ika. I'll help you too. Grip. Uh, grip is. Uh, you want me to describe what grip is, or make a sentence? Can you do that? both? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead and describe it at first, okay? Well, uh, according to my dictionary, grip means uh, to hand to handle something or someone uh, with strong, powerful. So, for example, uh, he gripped the handle of the door very hard to to keep. The, the man opened that door. Yep. Yep. So typically with much force. Okay. Yeah. So it's to grab something with your hand. Also, too, um, gripped. Some people use gripped. Like that movie really gripped me. You know, I was enthralled the whole time. So sometimes it's used like that. If something really grabs your attention and holds your attention. Okay. All right. Good, Ika. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that is a way to... Oh, no, you guys are using that. Sorry, I was reading your chat there, and I saw the really, but I know it's you guys talking with yourselves. Okay. So on to your neighbor here down in the Philippines, Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Hi. Hi. So, Eddie... Um, Intellectual. Um, intellectual. Um, intellectual. Um, it is. Like, uh, you're, you're thinking intellectually or something. Yeah, so you can be thinking intellectually, and an intellectual is someone who has high intelligence. Um, I, I, yeah, I don't know why I'm having a problem typing today. Someone who's considered um, smarter than the average person. Okay, and I didn't want to use intellect in there because when I like to give definitions, I don't like to use parts of the word, right? Just in case somebody um, doesn't understand intellect. Usually people know what's smarter, okay? Uh, so can you, uh, can you use intellect in a sentence? Intellect? <laughs> you got yeah, go ahead. He use intellect in a sentence. Explain. He explain the lesson with intellect. Um, yeah, but what about intellectual? Sorry, I should have. I was I was looking at uh, some of the typing in here. So try to use intellectual with the definition that I just gave, as far as a person. Okay, when you're describing a person. Okay, or saying that they are an intellectual. Can you use that in a sentence? Uh, he is considered, he is the most intellectual among the class. Okay, so you'd want to say he's, he's um, yeah, you could use that. Yep, but also too, a lot of people just refer to him as being an intellectual. He's extremely smart. Where, where are you from uh, in the Philippines, Eddie? Um, Manila. In Manila? Yes. Okay, like Cavite's, Alabang, Laguna. Makati. Oh, Makati. Hey, you're right in the heart of it all. Stay off Burgo Street, okay? All right, good. Good to have you in class, okay? 
I know a little little bit about that place. Uh, Amar, interval. Yes. Yeah, and okay. Amar, just keep your yeah keep yourself muted though when you're not talking, okay? So when you unmuted yourself, there's a little bit of feedback. So interval. Uh, interval is the space between two times or two events. Did you look that up before it came to you? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay if you did. <laughs> okay, no problem. You, you know Merch's trick. That's always his trick. Sometimes I have to switch words on him. Yeah. Uh, it's a space okay. between uh, two times, okay? All right, yeah. okay. So, um, so, yeah, that's a way to describe it. So, uh, can you use it in a sentence? Yeah, the players score a goal after the interval. The players could what? Yeah, score goal after the interval. After the interval, so um, so you're using interval then as far as like maybe a timeout or something like that, right? Yeah. Or are you, are you using it like um, you know, like quarters, right? So in a game, there might be four quarters or four intervals in which they play, and then the timeout is another interval. Right? Yes. Okay, okay, good. Good, good. Okay. okay. So, yep. There you go. So, um, so yeah, Paul, just to better explain what he's saying. Um, yeah, it can be a space between two times, though, right? Because it can be a, um, it could be between two halves, so that's an interval of time as well, all right? So it can be used either way, right? So I hope that helps out. Okay, uh, Zaid, lung, lung. Actually, I, I don't know. Okay, are you breathing right now? No, it's uh, the fan sound. No, no, Zaid, it's okay. It's okay. Are you breathing right now? Yes, I'm breathing. Okay, good, good, good. Otherwise, we'd have a hard time talking to you. Hey, I'm just kidding. It's a little bit of fun. So when you breathe, you're using your lungs, okay? All right? Okay. So you're, right. you're using those to breathe, all right? So your lung is going to be, um, it's what you're using to breathe. You have two lungs that you use to breathe with, okay? Okay. All right. right. So, yeah, that's the, um, the best ways. I was looking for another definition. Wow, okay, so that's a great one. So, um, so also, too, oops. So also, too, here's a, here's a pretty cool one, guys. So, uh at the top of one's lungs, all right? So that's an idiom. So what that means is somebody might scream at the top of their lungs. His team won, and he screamed at the top of his lungs uh, with excitement, okay? Can you use lung, now that you know the definition of it, can you use lung? And you can use it pl uh, plural as well. Uh, you can use lungs as well. Can you give us a sentence? Zaid? Yep. Yep. So, I don't um, have. you don't have? It's okay. It's all right. Um, so, yeah, you could just say, uh, like, uh, like Murcha said, my lungs are not healthy because I'm smoking too many cigarettes. Okay. Okay. All right. So, yeah. What, what is that, Fendi? Is it Cho Ren? Is that smoking in Chinese, Cho Ren? How do you say smoking? Oh, you're still muted. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm muted. Chong Yen, yes, you're right. Okay, okay, all right, I was trying to remember. You still remember. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah, cause everybody <laughs> smokes in China. Yeah. Hey, folks, Chong what I want to do here, yeah, I, got, I have another class coming up. However, I can see some of you are new, at least new to my class, so I want to help you out with Colingo, okay? So, and welcome. So with Colingo, 
you can see what classes you can see there's another class coming up with gerunds and infinitives okay so you can check out the classes that are coming up all right okay so you can also come in here and do it by skill level you can search by teachers as well and you can also see even by class type so for some reason you're just looking for particular classes you can also so that was showing the other the ones that we had or have coming up sorry and these are the ones that we've had in the past as well okay so you can choose either way there's a little bit of bug you have to click this again when that comes up but they're gonna fix that one of these days you can also see the various teachers and their schedules that are coming up and also follow them as well we also have here on Facebook um, let's see here let me just go in here oh hey friend request okay good you can also go in here and join this group talk to an American so that you can see all of the postings that are coming up so Eddie you just have to go into the class and then when you go so Eddie's question is are there slots open so it's first come first serve okay all right, I'll see you there, Elmer, okay? First come, first serve, all right, in the classes. So, hey, I'm going to get going because I am teaching the next class, okay? So I'll see you, see you guys later. Uh, very nice meeting you, Zaid. Uh, Mercha, pleasure as always. Bye-bye, Fendi, okay? I Marisa. want to your the next class. Okay, good, I'll see you there. <laughs> okay, Nika, nice yeah. to see you, okay? Eddie, balik, balik. Come back, Amar. See you later as well, okay? Thank you. Right, See you bye later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Welcome. bye, -bye. bye.